الحمد لله الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على سيد المرسلين أما بعد فأعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام عليك يا رسول الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا حبيب الله الصلاة والسلام عليك يا نبي الله وعلى آلك وأصحابك يا نور الله Excellence of conveying through the park upon the beloved and blessed Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. When a Muslim conveys 313 times through the park, he will be with those who recite through the salam abundantly. Try to make it a habit of at least reciting sallallahu ala Muhammad with the intention of sending salam and then to make a dua at the end insha'Allah. Sallu ala al-habib sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Inshallah, mention regarding intentions. If you want to do the ziyarah of Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is to have that intention in your heart. And uh, in a way, uh, one of the teachers told me that whenever you do any good deeds, whether you've helped someone or you've read Durud and Salam, inshallah, convey it, keep conveying it to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And as, it is as if you are knocking at the gates of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam's doors. And if Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam accepts your durood, accepts your good deeds, then inshallah, his presence will automatically come towards you. Inshallah. Uh, today's topic um, uh, continuing. We, uh, con uh, we were discussing 32 different examples of ostination. Ostination like showing off, uh, try to show our good deeds to Islam brothers. And this is the disease we have in our society. Whenever we do something, we might have a tasbih in our hands. And we might like show it to someone that we are reading with. We are trying to act that we are pious. So there's some points which I've already discussed. We're going to po uh, discuss point 8 up to, pay, uh, up to point 16, inshallah. To have a sad look on the face or to say comforting sentences to those in trouble so that people will consider him a kind-hearted and a sympathetic person, in brackets, to do so, with the intention of comforting a troubled Muslim and that of gaining divine pleasure is an act of worship and reward of the hereafter. Number nine, to hold rosary, meaning the tasbih, i.e. string of beads, in a way that makes people see, see it or recite Salat al-Nabi and other wazaif, moving the lips or loud enough for others to hear so that people will consider him a pious person. I remember... Uh, when I went to Pakistan, this is something I experienced myself. Uh, I went to a pious person, which I won't mention his name. And it was time for Fajr Jamaat. And uh, one of this individual in instructed me to go to the masjid in the local, so which I went, but I didn't see them there. And uh, I realized once I completed the Fajr Salah, the Imam of that masjid was actually looking at me. And when I returned back to this pious individual and I asked them, how come I didn't see you at the time of Fajr? He goes, I didn't attend because I knew this person, this Imam, was going to look at this Imam that's come to our area. And who is this person? His focus in Salah was on you when he was reading his Salah. So this is the reason I didn't attend the Salat al-Fajr. So you see the awliya can see these things. So we have to be very careful uh, on what we do sometimes when we're reading the Tasbih. So this is something I want to share with you. And point 10, to act upon the sunnah properly when eating, drinking, standing up or sitting etc. In the presence of others so that people would consider him a steadfast follower of the sunnah. If only we would develop the mindset of acting upon sunnah whilst eating, drinking and doing other things in loneliness as well. So maybe at home you don't do this. You know, you don't say as according to the Dastarhan. You don't tell your family members to read the dua. But when it comes at the time of ijtima. We're here, we go for the food, and then we read the du'as. Just to show people that we are reading the du'a and things like that. But the main focus is that Allah is watching. The taqwa, we need to work on that. Yeah? So number 11, to eat less 
when in a gathering or in the presence of others so that people will consider him less eating person and steadfastness on following the sunnah. Sadly, this ostination person, when eating with his family members or with his close friends, eats even others and shares. Number 12, to tell one's own virtuous deeds to someone and then ask him not to tell them to anyone so that he will get impressed and will consider him a sincere person not wanting his deeds to be revealed to others. And number 13, to use the title Hafiz with one's own name so that people will admire him saying, Masha Allah, treat him with respect and request him to make dua for them. If there is no intention of ostination, it is not prohibited for the Hafiz to use the word Hafiz with his name. So it's just down to your intention. If the intention is pure, then you can call him a Hafiz. Point 14. To perform itikaf in Ramadan or to recite the Holy Quran in the presence of others or make dua in an extremely humble manner so that people will consider him a pious person. So if you didn't cry in your loneliness at home, but in such a, a small circle, you started crying to show them, look, I'm pious, I cry. So we have to be careful of this. And number 15, to perform itikaf in the month of Ramadan so that we can eat food for free. At Sari and Iftar, gifted to Muttakif, uh, Islamic brothers in the masjid. And number 16, which is the last point, to take prominently active part in the funeral rites of some deceased person, including the funeral procession and burial, so that people, especially the relatives of the deceased, get impressed with him and consider him a pious and cooperative person. Nowadays, we only go to funeral processions to just to please that person. You know, he didn't come to the funeral. So we do it for that reason. But we're not doing it for the forgiveness of that person. So it's all down to the intention. We have to be very careful how we intend and how we do our actions. May Allah give his ability to act upon what has been heard. Ameen. Bijahin Nabil Ameen. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala sayyid al جزا الله عنا محمد ما هو أهله بسم الله على دين بسم الله على نفسي وولدي وأهلي ومالي يا الله عز وجل we have performed salat al zuhur we have listened to a short dars regarding ostination يا الله عز وجل take away the show of disease in our body take away the riyakari away from us يا الله يا الله protect us from the khlava يا الله عز وجل give us ability to do virtuous deeds sincere for your pleasure, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, give us success in this world and the hereafter. Give us ability to recite Quran and Kareem with his translation. Ya Allah, to learn the correct way of pronouncing Quran, the letters of Tajweed. Ya Allah, Zawajal, bless the Hazreen and Majlis. Enlighten their hearts. Ya Allah, Zawajal, give them hushu and huzu in their salah. Give them sukoon in their life. Protect them from calamities, azmaish, and Ya Allah, earthquake and disasters. Protect the Muslims in Pakistan from all types of calamities, from the enemies of Islam, those who have drowned in the floods, Ya Allah, grant them a high place in Jannah, those who are struggling for shelter, Ya Allah, bless them, bless them in shelter, Ya Allah, give, give them more connection towards the deen, more connection towards Islam, Ya Allah, Zawajal, and give us the ability to understand this sadma, Ya Allah, make us pious, give us ability and make us amongst them the pious people who perform their duties upon you, Ya Allah. Remove the ghafla from us, the laziness from us, and gives the jazbah to perform righteous deeds. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ya Allah, with the blessing of this Dude Park, Ya Allah, one of the uh, a scholar, uh, ex priest, Ya Allah, Zawajal, Nur, Nur Muhammad, by Ya Allah, Zawajal, which passed away. His namaz janazas today after Zuhur Salah. Ya Allah, Zawajal, grant him a high place in Jannah. Remove any torment in the grave for him. Ya Allah, uh, the religious knowledge that he has learnt, Ya Allah, benefit all of us, Ya Allah, and Ya Allah, grant us true Iman. Sallallahu ta'ala ala Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, subhana rabbika rabbil izzati amma yasifoon, wa salamun ala al-mursaleen, walhamdulillahi rabbil alayhi.